I um lost my job. That's why I don't have money, actually. Oh no, no. This, this, this can't be. Unfortunately, the day before my trip, I was blindsided by a letter that said that I was being let go because I wasn't working out. This is the moment you have to tell me all the truth. If I will find out something else that will be gone, everything will be nice. Nope. I told you everything. There's nothing else to tell you. Hey guys, welcome back to 90 Fiance Before the 90 Days, Season 7, Episode 14. Yesterday we did Faith and Lauren, Tagalin, Anan, and Vanya. Today we're gonna do Nazem and Toda and Magda and Jill. But wait, I know I just talked about yesterday's video, but obviously a lot of you guys can't watch it because it got copyright claimed again. And I don't know why they keep like recently they've been copyright claiming my videos, but it's getting annoying, okay? Stop it. I appealed it, but I don't really know how long it's gonna take because I don't know if I wanna like upload it now, like at 9 p.m. on a Monday night, or wait until it gets appealed, which I don't know when it's gonna get appealed. And last thing I wanna do is like re upload it and then have it appealed and then have two of the same videos like I did last time because I don't know, but doesn't that kinda look a bit grady? <laughs> <laughs> it's the same video posted twice. I don't know. It just feels greedy to me. So I really don't want to do that again. But I'm thinking if it doesn't get appealed by like tomorrow at 12 p.m., then I will re-upload it for like all the viewers that didn't get to see it. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want to like wait for the appeal or do you guys just want it re-uploaded now? I don't know. You tell me. But yeah, that's all for me. So sorry. Um, back to Matilda and Niles. Okay, Niles and Matilda first. So they were fighting in the car, but Niles is trying to calm the situation down. So he's like, you're clearly upset and you're being loud. And do I look like the type of person to try to argue with you? And she's like, I'm not arguing with you. So they make it to the hotel and he's talking about how Mr. Ark reprimanded the both of them and how he told them that they should just get married on this trip. That is a lot to digest. And to be honest with you, I really wish I had handled the pressure a little bit better. Anyways, they get to their room and it's just awkward until Nas is like, hey, I got attacked by Mr. Ark and I didn't feel like I should have. So I pointed that attack to you. And you know what? That was pretty wrong of me. That was probably not the right thing to do at that moment. And I should not have accused you of trying to intentionally mislead me. She said, you acted like I didn't tell you anything. And he's like, well, yeah, you're right. And she's like, if you don't know something that you can just tell me. And he's like, well, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry for doing that today, okay? Honestly, I do feel like he did handle it bad, but he was just confused, so. This Hmm. Be nice. I'm finding it. It take you that long to it find does, it? It does. It uh, does. I'm gonna let it slide. Also, I do want to point out that a lot of people were like really split on the whole Matilda and Niles thing. Like, it was like literally half. Half of you guys were like, oh my gosh, she's totally scamming him. And the other half was like, oh my gosh, Niles sucks because he's just like throwing all the blame on her. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, that was interesting. It was great. I loved it. Anyways. All the mistakes that I made, all the mistakes that, that, that she has made, that's not, it's not important who, who's right, who's wrong. The only thing that's important is that we're together. Right. But then he's like, Matilda, I understand that your parents did a lot for me and bended the rules for me. But now that I know better, I want to get married right after the knocking ceremony. And she's like, are you sure? And he's like, yes, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. And she's like, I love you more. The truth is, we're two kindred souls who found each other. I'm very certain in my decision oh, they're so cute like you guys we shouldn't be fighting about who's right or who's wrong or who's giving who let's just all come together and be like a family because obviously they love each other so we should all love each other as well in my 28 years on this earth i have never met anyone who was as patient and as understanding of my personality as matilda has been in, in my time here anyways he asked her if they should still have the big party and she's like no we don't need to have it me and my baby have Solve our problem. You're okay now, right? Squishy, 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 we sure are. Mm -hmm. Aren't we? Mm -hmm. Am I? 
Am I interrupting something? Yep. So now Matilda is excited because they're getting married in two days, but they keep zooming in on Nal's face. So then the producers ask him if Mr. Ark pressured him to get married because remember, he really didn't want to get married during this trip, but he said no. I don't think Mr. Ark pressured me. If he had pressured me, I would have just said, no, I'm not doing it. I don't feel pressured. I don't feel like I have to do this. I want to do this. Are you sure? And I know that he's saying no, but I kind of feel like he kind of did because Mr. Ark was like, hey, if you don't get married to Matilda right now, she's going to get married to somebody else. So I'm just like, oh, that probably like scared him a bit to like move on with like the whole marriage ceremony thing. But if he says no, I guess no. It's none of my business. It's none of my business. Okay. Anyways, they're now on their way to her house and now she's trying to give her the squishy squishy, but she's like, no. Babe, stop it. Why am I out here is busy? This is not a time for squishy squishy. I understand. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. You know, a whole, a whole lot of things is going in my mind, right? Of course. So they get to her place and Mr. Ark is coming because they need to pay the bride price and he's going to help negotiate. And if they were asking for what Matilda's actually worth, nobody could pay that. Oh, Niles! He's just, he's just so cute, you know, because he basically called her priceless. Oh, Niles! Sorry, I have low standards. So, Niles is a bit worried because he did not plan to get married. So, he's hoping that Mr. Ark negotiates with the price that he can pay for. So, Mr. Ark explains what will be happening with the change of plans. And Matilda's mom is like, oh, that's great. But the uncles aren't here because we didn't know that you were coming. Like, huh? Matilda, why didn't you tell them? My uncle has to speak for the family. Jose, Jose. And even though they can't be here right now, they need to agree for the new wedding plans. Well, maybe they could if you told them. Fortunately, she calls them and they agree and now they can continue. So now she's hoping that Mr. Art can do a good job in negotiating, but he doesn't understand a word. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But, you know, not understanding a word that's being said, I, I'm, I'm kind of worried about this. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. All right. It's finished. Okay. So they come to an agreement and everybody's happy except Niles because he doesn't know how much he's going to be paying. I'm fucking broke. So Mr. Ark's assistant basically tells him everything like the items that he needs to get and getting the things ready for the wedding. And so everything will be 4,700. Oh, excuse me. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's way too much, especially for him to like have on hand. There's no way. But then they're like 4,700 CDs. And I was like, oh, okay, that's like $400. So yeah, that's a really good price. But it's too much for Niles. The truth is I haven't exactly told Matilda the full story on my financial situation. But the thought of facing Matilda and her family with another disappointment, it's, it's too much to handle. But imagine how tired we are. Imagine how tired we are of it. Um, how bad is your financial situation that you can't afford $400 for a wedding? Matilda's happy that everything is going well, but Niles is not prepared. He goes to the ATM, but he's worried that he doesn't have enough money. When I changed my mind about getting married, I kind of sort of forgot all about the wedding clothes, marriage certificate, and all the gifts and cash for the family, which is a part of the bride price. So he comes back and he only has $109. How do you just have $109, Niles? Oh God. Then he's like, Matilda, I gotta tell you something. And he drops a bomb on her. I um, lost my job. That's why I don't have money, actually. Unfortunately, the day before my trip, I was blindsided by a letter that said that I was being let go because I wasn't working out. Oh my gosh. You guys, when I was watching this for the first time, I couldn't believe it. So he said that he's in between jobs and he spent so much of his money on travel and gifts and he wasn't watching his balance. What? But I just don't get it because why did you agree to get married then? If I was him, I would have told her ASAP as the main reason why I couldn't afford to get her much. So far, what I've seen from Matilda is that she's like a pretty understanding person. And I feel like if he told her his financial situation, she would have been like, oh, okay, well, let's not have that big of a knocking ceremony. Let's probably not get married right now. Let's probably wait until you're like in a better place financially before we like move on. I feel bad that Niles lost his job, but it's so frustrating to be with a man who can't tell the truth. You're right. If he was honest with me and my family in the first place, we could have negotiated lower for the right price. Yep. Now he's agreed to it. 
and we can't go back right so she said that they gotta find out how to get money or else her family won't let him marry her i will see what mr ark is willing to do to help me cover the rest of the um expenses for this wedding oh my gosh mr ark he's gonna have a heart attack he can't even ask her parents because they don't support it so now their best bet is to ask mr ark ask an old man in ghana for his money Hmm. If he won't help me pay for the rest of this wedding, I don't know where we go from here. You're going home, sweetie. Um, that's her day end. Moving on to Magda and Joe. So, it's the day after she found out that he cheated on her, and so she's mad at him and says that she needs more time. How much time? Like, if I did get a stopwatch. Really, nigga? You don't take this serious. I do take this serious. Girl, does he ever take anything seriously? Nope. So he planned a day for them at a salt mine, and before he leaves, he wants a kiss, but she's like, hell no. I have a kiss? Ah. Oh. Like, Joe, read the room. I don't know. I will try to, let's say, have fun. <laughs> He's trying to be funny in the car, but she's having none of it. Question, is there a pepper mine? Suck. Anyways, they visited the salt mine and it was very impressive because all of that was carved by the miners. So they continue and the lady's like, you know, people get married here. Do you want to get married here? I don't know if here's a good plan. Magna definitely seems a little salty. Definitely not the happiest camper in the salt mine. Wow, I wonder why. Stupid. So Joe doesn't want her to be in a bad mood, so he wants them to talk. So he apologizes for last night, and she's like, well, I just want you to tell me these things, and I'm scared that you're hiding more things from me. And he's like, yeah, yeah, my bad, but I really want to be with you, Magna. Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. But she said that she's struggling the most with how he can remember the time and date that he had sex with that one girl. So she asked him if it was more than one. Answer the question, Joe. No, it's not more than one. If you don't have sex a lot of time, how can you not remember that? Answer the question, Joe. So she's like, this is the moment for you to tell me now. And if I find out about it later, then we're done. So apparently his little secret is that he's still friends with his ex and he's scared that she won't take it well. So he decided not to tell her at all. I told you everything. There's nothing else to tell you. Dirty ass, rat ass, hoe ass, slut ass, crusty ass, dusty ass. ass, dumpster juice ass, bottom of the barrel, trash bag ass bitch. And I'm sorry I hurt you. You trust me? No. Anyways, they make up and he's fine with lying because Jill is just a friend and it was years ago. Um, I don't think it's that bad either, but if I was him, I still would have told her so you guys could at least start off clean in your relationship because now you're starting off with lies. So now on the drive back, her head is hurting real bad. My head, it's terrible now. Nah, it's that intuition. It's trying to warn you, girl. Get away from that man. I never feel like this before. Joe is trying to help, but this is the first time it has gotten this bad for her. I feel like I'm dying. I just can't handle it. The pain in my head. Mm. Honestly, if I was her, I would take that as a sign. Have a great day, bitch. And he comes to her in that damn kimono. Remember when he asked us if he should bring it? Kimono? Should I bring it? Badass, right? I don't know if we have the time. He actually brought it. <laughs> so it's the next day and he makes her breakfast in bed and he tells us that they did sleep in the same bed together, but, but, but they did not sleep together. And I feel him all night like, Magda, I will be here for you and I will be always for you. I start to trust him more. It's the first time the man showed me how much he loved me. Oh. Mm. All right. So now they're going to go meet her friends and she has to warn him to behave. So they get there, they wait, her friends come and they also bring her dog because they were dog watching for her. Magna did say if I cheat, the uh, dog can eliminate my penis. Yes. When my ex cheated on me, my dog could just bite his penis. So I'm just warning him. Get him, Hades! So they're talking, but her friends are concerned because Magda takes relationships way too fast. And so now they want to know if they're on the same page. So they ask if she's excited for marriage and to go to America. And she's like, yes, I love America. And I always wanted to go. You what? Well, 
a lot to think about. It's um, a short it's amount of time. It's not going to be like we will take merch tomorrow because we'll spend a few weeks right now. After that, uh, of course, we have to make decisions. She said that she wants to get married and have kids and he knows all of this but he doesn't understand why they're rushing because they already had a fight and now they're having trust issues. So her friend is like, well, do you think the amount of time you're spending together is enough to know if you want to get married or not? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's just... Wrong answer. So then her friends are like, well, we're concerned because she moved to Germany for somebody else. And Joe is like, oh, well, I didn't know that. That was a really big mistake in my life. I didn't know. I don't think I knew that. Is there anything else I don't know? So now he's worried because to him, it seems like she has a problem with moving way too fast. And that's where they end. Honestly, I don't feel like they should be together because Joe's a liar. And I just don't like him. Magda, I do like her, but I just feel like she moves way too fast. And so she should just stop doing that, you know? Um, anyways, that's the end of this video. But wait, I gotta give a super thanks to six super thanks. The first one is Moon Man. Thank you. You're not my scrapbook. Next is Gilf Sweet. Thank you. You're not my scrapbook again. 14 Toe Beans. Thank you. You're not my scrapbook. Vanessa Marano, thank you, you're not my scrapbook. K Wanning and Coffee Addict, thank you, you're also my scrapbook. And last but not least, Akimi, thank you, you're also my scrapbook again. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, bye. Do you guys want to see the scrapbook so far? I'll show you. Honestly, I can't pick my favorite because I love them all. Okay, bye.